Hey everyone, Tim Schofield here, and I've got a tablet in front of me you haven't seen on my channel in a long time. The Nexus 10, it's been out for almost four years now, but anyways, it's running a version of Android that I feel could be the tablet UI to have on a tablet that runs Android. Now it's called Remix OS. It's on version 2.0. It's in beta right now. I do have it running on my Nexus 10, but I want to show it off because it is really neat. It's I really like what they've done with it, so let's check it out. So here is Remix OS. It is a version of Android. It is, however, different. So let's go ahead and go into settings. And right away, you'll notice settings is a little bit different considering it doesn't take up the entire screen. Let's go to About Tablet. Scroll down, Remix OS version 2.0 and Android version 5.1.1. So it is based on Lollipop right now. Hopefully, Marshmallow support does come in the near future with other various updates to Remix OS. Now, one of the main things I want to talk about is down in the bottom of the display, you have a taskbar. So this taskbar, yes, I know a lot of people are gonna say, oh, it looks similar to Windows. And I'm totally okay with that because I like Windows on a desktop or tablet experience. So let's check it out. On the home screen, you'll notice you have all your app icons. There are no widget support, and I hope they do bring some in the future to make your desktop a little bit different. Now in the bottom left is essentially your app drawer where you have all of your apps in one place. You can sort them, search them and there's a power button as well. Now your back and home in the bottom left, you can get rid of the back button, you don't necessarily need it. I always keep it, I like to have it there. And then you have app icons down at the bottom with apps that are open. So if I open File Manager, you'll notice the File Manager opened up and it brought an icon down at the bottom right. I can tap on it, it minimizes it, tap on it to maximize. Now if I wanna quit out of an app, I can press and hold on that specific app and drag up and it says Quit App. Now moving over to the right here, is where all of your settings are. You can tap this, you get to a nice calendar. You have your Wi-Fi settings, how much battery you have left, which calculator you'd like to use. Pressing this arrow over, you've got brightness on the fly, sound on the fly, of course you can use volume controls, your Bluetooth, and then you have a RAM management, I guess, cleaner right there, which I pretty much never use. Now there's this icon right here, which brings over your entire notification tray as well. Now when it comes to the notification tray, you have a clear all button, and then they categorize the notifications such as Gmail, Google Play Store, Calendar as well. There's a little drop down where you can expand specific notifications or contract them as well. It does not have two finger expand if you're wondering about that. Now on the bottom here, you have various settings. This jumps straight into the settings app. This is a neat one where you can take a screenshot and you can customize what you are taking a screenshot of. You just press the check button and it's gonna take a screenshot. Taking a look and that's what happens when you receive a notification. It pops out to the right and you'll see, open it up and there is that notification. Now right here is where you can kind of minimize the taskbar at all times. So to gain access to it, you have to physically swipe up from the bottom. I like to actually just keep it locked so it's always it's always out. Now going back into it, you have auto rotation lock and then here is your do not disturb mode. You can turn it on and off with that bell. It's important to note that this is in beta. So not all apps that you open will open in that windowed mode. As you can see, Chrome right here is in full screen. You can minimize it by tapping the icon right here, which is very easy to switch between apps. So Play Store, Chrome, back to the Play Store, pressing home goes back to your home screen. It's very simple. Now, for example, I downloaded Facebook. Facebook opens in this windowed mode. Now, when it comes to Windows mo windowed mode, you have the X there. You can maximize it, which is nice because you can just go straight into full screen mode or minimize it. Can't resize it yet. I think that's just because it's a beta on the Nexus 10. And then, of course, you can minimize it as well. Now, going over, Twitter is the exact same. Unfortunately, YouTube's not there yet. I know that it is on other devices, but as you can see, you can just open Twitter. You can open your Facebook feed. Um, other ones that you can open is such as the settings app. Oops, let's go back and back into the settings app. So there's that. So you'll see I have three specific apps opening at once and you can quickly switch between them and just kind of take action on them. And you also notice a back button in that upper left hand corner, which is why you can hide the back button right there. So I'm backing out of all three of those apps just by pressing that back button. Now in terms of performance, it's not bad at all. As you can see, I'm playing a game right here. It is in full screen mode. And just like before, if you're in full screen mode, you can just swipe up to get to that taskbar. So if I wanna kind of switch between this to the Play Store, you can go ahead and do so real quick. Open up downloads. Downloads are gonna open on top. Anything that opens in a windowed mode opens up on top of a full screen app. And of course, if I go back, into Crossy Road, I can just go ahead and start doing that again. And then of course, I have access to my entire app drawer on top of an app. So this is a really nice 
I guess, feature to have in terms of if I wanna to go to a file manager and do something in windowed mode, I can go ahead and do so while this full screen is running in the background. And like I said, of course, YouTube actually jumps into full screen mode as well. So uh, it does not have that windowed mode just yet. But overall, there's a quick look at Remix OS 2.0. Like I said, super promising. Hopefully it comes in a more stable version for the Nexus 10 and in the near future of other Android tablets, maybe the Pixel C as well, which I just did a review on. I'll link to that in the description if you're interested. But let me know what, you're th what you think about Remix OS. I'm interested to hear if you like this desktop style for tablets. Uh, leave a comment, drop it down below. Give this video a thumbs up. Thumbs up if you liked it. You can subscribe to me as well. More to come on Remix OS in the near future. And as always, guys, thank you very much for watching.